All right, gang, here's some stuff I picked up. It's windy today, so it's a little bit of a weather thing. Paul told me this was the Africa core tuna. So, I don't know. Um, could be, you never know. It's a neat piece. All the insignia is gone. And uh, this is a, what I think is a, a Navy, well, it is a Navy. Uh, Size 42. Size 42. See if you can get the guy's name and uh, social security. Number. Milligan. Patrick Milligan. Um, it's a neat old coat. It's too small for me. So where his ID would have been. And there's another word. It's too bad they took him off. It's a neat old coat. And then, uh, here's another one I picked up. This is, uh, another G2. Man, we got a windstorm from hell. This is, uh... So I was looking these, uh, insignias up. And, um, they were actually Hell's Angels, not the motorcycle club, but the, uh, the bombardment group. Um, so you can look that up on on Google or whatever, but this is a really nice coat. Um, I want to say it's a World War II coat by the collar. Um, could be Korea, but it's a it's a real nice coat. It's got those two patches on it. Um, yeah, so stuff you can find at a thrift store. And then here's a this is a real nice score. This is a. This is another urban coat. The guy had the zippers redone by Arrow Leather. And, uh, they even do a nice knockoff. And, um, they did a really nice job on this one. So, unfortunately, this camera doesn't really let you focus in on that. But you can see AM maybe, maybe no. But it's a it's a really nice coat. The front zipper's been done. And, uh, I think the guy said the the buckle and strap was arrow leather as well. And uh, it's it's a really luxurious coat. This uh this is um you know Spitfire, Lancaster, all those guys flew this or wore this coat while they're flying. It's mismatched that uh, strap that goes on the back um, and then like you can see here it's a four panel and it's got some repairs um, and uh, like, like I always tell everybody don't wear these coats because um, you know they're 80 years old just uh, put them on your mannequin or if you want to wear them at an air show you know, you can do that. Look how wide that that is. I've got another a, uh, Urban I'll have to bring out and compare to. But uh, that's a really neat coat. So, yeah, I collect these a, these uh, Urbans, and A2s, and B3s, and, and there's your Gusses, man. Cirrus makes a really nice coat. Aviation Leathercraft makes a really nice coat. Um, the pair, there's quite a few British companies that make really nice coats. Eastman, of course, makes a really nice coat. I don't know if Aero Leather makes an Urban. Um, they might. But anyway, this is a, a really, really cool coat. I'm going to try and get a mannequin and put that on it. But, uh, but there's no label up here. Um, long gone. Enjoy seeing some needle flight jackets. This one I really like too. This uh, is G2. It's a really neat, uh, 
A to G1, G1. Yeah, these are G1s. How's it going? Yeah. All right. You just put it in the trash. Don't use the recycle. Okay. Yeah. So there it is, gang. I'll uh, I'll see you on the next YouTube with some more uh, World War II codes and what have you.